Well, hello, weather fans. Tricky B here from Tricky B. Whether or not your best source for, is it for? What's the word? Of. Of. Your best source of blogworthy weather observations. We are not a forecasting site. Haven't talked to you in a long time. It's been 61 days, I believe, according to the thingy. Uh, so sometime in, in October. Um, today it's a beautiful Christmas day. And we've been doing Christmassy stuff. But, but you're saying, but Tricky B, what's been going on with the weather in the last 60 days? And the answer is, eh, you know, not a lot. Uh, weather goes up, it goes down. We had a little snow. You can see the remnants of snow. Remnants. But it wasn't anything spectacular. It wasn't anything special. We've had wind. Uh, wind doesn't work well on video. Um, you just hear, and... You know, and then I lean like I'm Jim Cantore. But, you know, overall, it doesn't really, really work that well. I had a wonderful Christmas today. Like, I got I got a new tool. I got a, a diamond paddle sharpener. So I was using a router uh, to do straight cut. Um, I was doing a rabbit, basically, with a router. And, uh, and it was just chipping the wood all over the place. And, and the router bit was very, very dull. I had to switch to a different bit. And so I had to look up, how do you sharpen a router bit? And the answer is one of these guys. Now this is a, this is a fancy uh, a Lansky brand. I'm not paid to endorse this, but you know, Lansky is a well-known uh, name in the sharpening industry. I have a whole, a whole kit of Lansky guide rod things for sharpening a knife to make it super sharp. Uh, I don't use that, though, because I don't have the kind of patience it takes to really sharpen a knife with that. I've also been refinishing a lot of wood. You're saying, Where's, when's the next pipe video coming out? I don't know. I don't know when the next pipe video is coming out. I haven't had a chance to, uh, to make a pipe in, in, gosh, close to a year. Um, I've been refinishing railings. I've been refinishing uh, edges of the kitchen counter. I've got... I've got I did the bathroom in the kitchen, I got the upstairs bathroom, I got the downstairs bathroom, I got the bar to go, and I still have, I have 70 feet of railing, of which I've only accomplished 20 so far. The problem with the railing is it's a very ornate shape, so you have to hand sand the whole thing. You know, you have to sand off the old urethane, because the urethane has failed in many places. You, know, you run your hand up and down the railing, you wear through, and then you got to strip the whole thing, because you can't just patch a small section of urethane. And, uh, and the color doesn't match, you know, so, so even if you wanted to just sand the small section and then restain that section and do the whole railing, you know, the color doesn't match. You always see that. So I got to strip the whole thing with paint stripper, sand it all down to the bare wood, restain it, and refinish it. Though I've been using polycrylic on the railings. I don't know whether I'm sold on that product, to tell you the truth. I used actual urethane in the kitchen. Worked much better. Um, but stinky uh, and, uh, you know, the cleanup mineral spirits, eh, it's not that much fun. Um, overall, it's smoother, though. It's a smoother product. Uh, but the kitchen thing, it's just a rectangle, so you can sand it. You can power sand it. You have to be careful not to hit the tile. But other than that, you know, pretty easy. Um, everything's dead because it's the winter. I'll be making a wonderful... A wonderful roast beef in here on the rotisserie because uh, of course this is a fancy model so the rotisserie motor just just you know pops right up out of there I highly recommend this if you have the means the Weber Summit is an excellent grill you know you can live with a Genesis 2 if you're poor but uh, you know I recommend the Summit I think they're made in China now though this one's made in America in, in the USA uh, made in America one of the last few years. I think they're making them in China now. Don't quote me on that. But uh, heck of a grill if you can get one. All right. I should get back to the family because it's Christmas. So I want to say Merry Christmas to all my fans out there. Maybe you'll see this on Christmas. Maybe I'm wishing you a Christmas for next year. But I hope you have a great Christmas. I hope you have a great New Year. And I hope that next year, you know, we get to go outside with, with, without the COVID. We can hope. All right. Tricky B. Tricky B whether or not your best source of blog-worthy weather observations. We are not a forecasting site. Out.